Welcome back everyone. You may be somebody who just bought your new iPhone 12 Pro and you may be wondering what this specific camera lens does right here. Now depending on who you are, you may be super excited or super not excited about what I'm about to tell you and it's so funny because I'm not an expert at this by any means. <laughs> But it was very interesting that I basically found out that for a daily person who's going to use their phone currently day to day, you're probably not going to be ever using this lens, I would assume, maybe very rarely. But this could actually open up a lot of doors for a lot of other camera sensors out in other phones and just even the technology to be pushed super far into what could be possibly happening in certain applications. Now that is a very strong out way of saying that this camera Basically, it's a LiDAR sensor, I'm sure you all know that, but basically what it does is it's called technically a time of flight sensor. And as far as I know, I read about this on Wikipedia for like 20 seconds and I'm like already an expert at it. This camera lens basically shoots out a bunch of little IR dots or whatever, and then basically brings that data back into this lens. And it kind of gives it a better idea of, I would say, mapping certain objects to, you know, actual length of what they are in real life. So before, if you've ever used a camera like one of these and you ever try to do like some sort of like, like if you ever downloaded an app or a Snapchat filter that like put in, like that put like a Shrek on like a your desk or something like that. If you've ever seen those TikToks of like those computer generated objects that are just like moving or something like that, basically you can already do that with these lenses, but it's not like as accurate as something as something with a LiDAR sensor would be. So basically all it does is for those AR objects, those augmented reality things, even games and stuff like that, it gives it more accurate results at the end of the day. So if you're going to shoot like Snapchat photos or TikTok videos or something, you're probably never ever going to use this unless you're using some sort of like object in those videos or photos or something like that. So keep that in mind. Now to give you an example of this, here's a video that I made pretty quickly using an Ikea app thing. It's actually really cool. I'll link it down below. And basically you can go ahead and drop down specific objects onto, you know, the screen and basically, you know, use the app like that. Now I tried to do it while I'm making this video didn't work so I just screen recorded it and that's basically what it does and this is basically just a little walkthrough of what that app basically entails and it actually crashed on me so I had to go back into it and this is pretty much the process you go into an app not just that it doesn't work just in this app but that works in a ton of different apps and you go into it this is an example of it and you can go ahead and place certain objects so here I was just scrolling through and I went and clicked on whatever it didn't really matter just a certain sofa and I think it crashed on me again basically I clicked on this I click on here, I click on this little augmented thing, and I'm able to place that object wherever I want to just like that. Then I went ahead and finished off this video right here. And as you can see, I will definitely tell you, I've done things like this on like an iPhone 12, for example, that has like, you know, not in a LiDAR sensor. And it's not as accurate as something like this, in my opinion. And this is just a small example. There are tons of games out there that, and when I stuck my hand out there, it was very freaky because it went through for a second. Basically, for those of you who, you know, want to play those, you know, crazier games that have AR lenses and all those different things, you're going to be getting a better experience overall. Like this is actually really, really good, in my opinion. That was actually really impressive when I saw saw that I was pretty shocked because it wasn't the, the object wasn't glitching all over the place previously if you were to do something like that the object would glitch all over the place and it would move if you moved your camera now it's actually like in place it stays in the same spot and that is something that is really really impressive so it's really not something insane that I don't think a lot of people are going to be using day to day right now but I think down the line, eventually, there's going to be a ton of people who are going to be using this specific lens. And it's going to be really impressive. I don't think this year or next year, but eventually there's going to be a lot of people who are actually going to build out a lot of cool different things with this LiDAR sensor. So that's pretty much just an introduction on like how to use this lens. There's, if you just type in, go to the app store and just type in like LiDAR apps or just even type in LiDAR, what the heck? Like if you just type those things in, I guarantee you there's going to be a ton of different apps that actually come up and that give you a ton of different different things with this specific lens. So that's really pretty much it. It's a super cool thing and I'm really happy about it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.